In this video, we will be looking how to create animations such as those uh, without leaving uh, on real editor. So we will use the fracture mode and the modeling mode and the easy vertex anim plugin to make this. First, I will go to the modeling mode and create a box. Here I will put something like 400, 10, 100, and 10. So it gives me such a panel like this. And then accept. Next, I will rename the created asset here and call it SM. Box. Now I will go to the fracture mode and create a new geometric collection from this. And I will save it in this folder and we'll call it GC Arc Box Create. And it created a folder with the geometry collection inside. Next, I will fracture it using the uniform fracture, for example, like this. And then maybe I will increase the number of pieces. Like this. And fracture. That's our result. Next step with this uh, object still selected, I will still in the fracture mode scroll down and transform it into mesh using this button. So it asks me for the name for this step and save it. It created many measures to represent this object. And as you can see in the outliner, they are here. So what we will do now, we will select all of those meshes like this, maybe move them out of the way and merge them back into a single mesh. For this, we go back into modeling mode. We choose X form merge and we accept. So far, so good. Now we back to one mesh, but if you look at this mesh in the wireframe mode, you see it's subdivided like this, so it's made from various parts. Now we don't need this anymore, and that's our mesh, which is here. We can rename it something like this. Now let's animate it. First of all, we have here prepared the material which is a very simple material. The only important part that it has the uh, use material attribute check it and it has the material attribute layers with ML pass through, like explained it already in the previous videos. That is the important thing for the plugin to work. So we will put that onto mesh. And now we will go and animate it. We will go to Easy Vertex Anim, run it. It will ask us for the which channel to add. And as you can see, the, the fracture tool already uh, subdivided the mesh in, in polygroups. So here we have nothing to subdivide. We will just go add our channel 
to store the information about the polygroups for the material and we will choose the anim layer which will be the assembly now if I try to play you see already it works it does something so the rest uh, that remains to, to be done is to configure this effect to, to, to look like this one and we will do it right now first thing we want to change is that we want to those pieces appear from back to front and not randomly like now for this we will select everything and then go into operation geo order here we will uh, choose the order by x min we choose reset and run now if we visualize the order here we see that the order this little number starts here 0 1 2 and ends here and if we play it they appear like this next step we will edit the material layer that implements the animation and change its parameters so we open it here and uh, so we don't want those pieces to rotate we want them to arrive not one by one but like uh, many at a time so here with part count we will put 100 they are 100 ah sorry there is 64 so i will put 64 I will reduce the time it takes for them to arrive and apply now we can see we already have an effect like this which is actually a pretty nice effect I would say maybe even better but then if we want the effect like this one we will continue to edit it and uh, we will add uh, here the easy easing function bounce so they will bounce a little bit and then we will put the fix and fix it uh, location offset to something like 200 so from the front and minus 50 from the bottom apply and then you have it we have here more or less <coughs> the same effect as this animation now we click accept everything is saved this is our material instance which implements the animation effect we can put it on the the material and it will be animated and we can safely delete the folder with the pieces and the and the geometry collection we created in the previous step that's it i will add this example to a vertex anim uh, example project and thank you for watching and see you in the next videos